a yarn butterfly can be used when you need just a little bit of yarn for a spot of color in a project or just something where you don't need an entire ball of yarn. You can use it in place of using a yarn bobbin. Begin by holding the yarn tail in your thumb like this so it's out of the way and then bring the yarn between your middle two fingers. You're going to start wrapping in a figure eight around these fingers. If you can do it, you can even make the Vulcan peace sign, create a V with those middle fingers, and wrap with the strands parallel. I am doing this with the strands pretty far apart so that you can see them, but actually you can scoot them closer together. You just don't want to overlap the strands. Make sure they stay parallel to each other. So you can wind as, either as much yarn as you need or as much yarn as your fingers will hold all the time keeping the strands parallel. Don't, don't do that. Keep them parallel. So after, say I'm about to run out a pinky finger here, I'm going to continue to leave kind of a long strand here because I'm going to pinch the center where they're crossed and pull them off my fingers. There's the, there's the tail end of my yarn right there. The, and then I'm going to take that long strand and wrap it around the center times fairly tightly but not too tight and then I'm going to cut. I'll wrap it around a few more times and then tuck the end under those strands that I wrapped. If you need to you can either, even use a crochet hook to go in and pull that yarn tail through so it stays underneath those strands. Now then, I have my yarn butterfly, but the question is, does it work the way I want it to? When I hold the working yarn, that tail that I had there, it doesn't come undone, but watch this, I can pull a little bit at a time out as I need it. So as I work, I will be pulling the yarn just as much as I need and the rest will stay attached to the butterfly until I get very close to the end, at which point I'll get to that wrapped part and it will start to come undone. But that's okay because we won't have much yarn left at that time. If you'd like more instruction like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links in the video notes for other ways you can find me. Thanks for watching.